So let's cover a very easy trade I took just this week and don't worry I'll show you the profit screenshot at the end. And I'll show you how my journal helped me avoid two losses during the same trading session. I'm Money Engineer and with my masters in machine learning I've helped traders get funded and get payouts using data science. So as you know I'm trading mostly Nasdaq. This is my main instrument and this is the price action that we had. So we were on Tuesday and what I like to do is before getting on the chart I like to use my journal as kind of a guideline to give me the profile of the day. So because I have so many trades and in this specific case for this specific strategy I have around 50 trades and so what I'm doing is that I'm looking for the different sessions. I'm looking what happened during the Asian session, what happened during the London session and everything that happened right before the equity open. I'm also looking at the previous day and many other features. So if we go on my trading journal, so in here I have my paid trading journal, but every member in the community receive a notion journal, which does the exact same thing. So in this case, you can see that I have around 50 trades with a win rate of 50%. But what I like to do is that using the different features that we're studying, I'll just put what happened, for instance, during the Asian session, during the London session, the yesterday session, and then this will give me the probability of a winning trade for this specific trading session. So let's just go back to the chart and I'll show you what happened as trade is developing. So I'm right before the equity open at 9.30. And what I saw is a quick sweep of this low, some reaction, and then the break of structure right there with the fair value gap. So we had an important displacement of the Fairval gap right there. Let's see where it is compared to my FIB at around the 23 FIB. So what I simply did is that I've put my trade right there at the entry of the Fairval gap. And then I went for a one to two. And what I like with this trade, so let me just put the one to two. And what I like with this trade is we have all of those liquidity points that could be potential target. So we have the high of the pre-market open. We have the high of the London session. I also have the yesterday's high and I also have a third level right there that I have on the daily. So we have some clear targets, but what gave me the most confidence about this trade is when I go into my journal and I enter what happened exactly during the Asian session, London session and the pre-market open, I'm able to enter everything that happened. So I have different features that I'm studying and this gave me a 70% win rate. So based on my strategy, and this specific day profile about what happened during the London session, Asian session, yesterday's session, I know that this specific setup has a 70% win rate. And this is what gives me the confidence with this trade because if it goes to stop loss, I know that I did what I needed to do. It was a high probability setup and if it goes to win, it's all good. You need also to take a step back and also remember what is a 70% win rate. This means that out of 10 trades, seven of them were wins and three of them were losses. So even if you see a 70% win rate on this specific profile day, there's still a chance that this trade will go to a stop loss. Because every time people, some people see like, oh, I have a 60 or 70% win rate, they think that all of their trades will be wins. But let's just see how this one goes. And using the same concept and my trading journal, which is backed by data science, I was also able to save myself two losses and I also cover them as this trade is developing. So we're currently in some good profits. And then look what happened. I also had the high of the pre-market open that was swept. And you can see that we also got the low and a fair value gap right there. And we also got an inverse fair value gap at that point. So I know a lot of people are using lately the, fair, the inverse fair value gap to enter a trade. Sometimes I do like to use that, but uh, I also have other ways of entering a trade. But let's say someone was looking to enter this trade using the inverse fair value gap. We put the high, we put the stop loss at the high, and then we just go for a simple one to two. That would be at the low. So to be honest, this could have been a potential trade for me. However, look at what happened when I enter all of the information to form this specific profile day. So you can see that once I apply everything that happened on the chart, this specific setup had a 27% win rate. And this is the reason why I didn't take this trade. Of course, I also had this trade running, so I would not like to hedge my trade and then enter both of them. So that's another reason also why I would have not taken this trade. But having my journal to back up the decisions that I make is what makes the biggest difference. 
and a lot of my students are are experiencing the same thing also so the trade did go in some profits so this one went to a one-to-one -one, so that's great some people are going break even at that point they would have been taking out right there and same thing for the initial trade so personally i don't like going break even too much i just like to let my trade breathe and i have a um, trade management script that is giving me the confidence because at the end of the day all of this is about confidence you have your trade set up you have the probability of it you have all of the data backing up your decision and this is what gives you confidence on what you're doing and the decision you're making so the initial trade went to a 1 to 1.5 and then went back to break even so if someone would have went break even after getting a 1 to 1 or a 1 to 1.5 they would have been taking out of the very first trade so let's just see how the rest of the trade goes And you can see that this one went eventually to a stop loss. So that's how powerful data science is and having a well-made trading journal. It's very important that you need to be able to form those features to be able to reproduce the profile of the day and the profile of your trading setup. And there was still another trade that I stopped myself from taking. And you can see that this one, very first trade, went to a take profit. And I'll show you the screenshots. But what happened after, I see that many people are just blindly trading the yesterday's high-low. But you need specific rules to do that. And once again, when I entered the profile of this setup, and you will see it forming, so we just swept the yesterday's high. We got the break of this low. So we have the break of the structure. Maybe someone could have used inverse fair value gap to enter right away, but they didn't have the break of structure at that point. So in this case, maybe you can use something like a retracement or like we have the fair value gap right there and it went even lower. All right, so it took a lot of time, but we came back to the fair value gap, but this happened during the New York PM session. So this is not a, a session that I trade personally, but I know people are not letting uh, different times or different sessions to stop themselves from taking a trade. But let's say they would have went with this one right there. I just know that based on my data, this is not a profitable trade. And let's just see how this one goes. And it went directly to stop loss. I just wanted to show you how far my initial trade went eventually. If we eventually went and took out my daily levels that I had on my chart also. And look how price are respecting my levels. We had a great reaction right there. We had a great reaction right there. So this is only based on my experience. I've been trading for almost a decade now. But the main point that I wanted to provide in this video is how I was using my trading journal to stop myself from taking a trade or to have the confidence to take a trade. And it makes a huge difference. Imagine every morning you come into the chart, you put in your journal the profile of the day the profile of the specific training setup. And if you see that it is only a 30% win rate, then you can just skip it. But if you see that on the specific training setup, looking at all the confluences and all the characteristics, you have a 90% win rate, then of course you need to take the trade. And even if this trade setup was a 90% win rate and it goes to a loss, then all you have to do is add this trade in your journal and then the win rate will be adapted to it. For instance, it will go from a 90% to 85%. Still a high probability setup, but the win rate will be adjusted at that point. So I hope I could provide some value. If you're interested to learn how to build this kind of system, this kind of decision tree in your trading, you can just click in the link in the description. And if you want to see me use those same concepts to improve the Scarfish strategy, which is one of the easiest I saw, click on this video. See you there.